Hello everyone, today I shall be showing you a video of fake emulsification in a case of soft cataract which we all know can be more difficult to do than some harder ones. I do two side ports in my cases. This case also has a corneal opacity at 7 o'clock. And uh, for my cystotome, I use a needle track. I use a 26 gauge needle to make that track. I find with this method, the interior chamber stays deep and the capsular axis is made simple and safe. We aim for a 5.5 to 6 mm rexis. Once the rexis is done, I do a 2.2 mm main incision. Once the incision is done, hydro dissection is done. You'll see a nice fluid wave going behind the nucleus and then press over the nucleus to burp any extra fluid which might have gone into the capsular bag. The nucleus is rotated to make sure that it is free from the capsule. This is a balanced tip of the Centurion system. I quite like it, it's quite efficient. I'll be doing a stop and chop you'll see that I've started the sculpting here it's quite a soft cataract you might notice that the lens is not moving at all with the movement of the phaco tip which is a good indicator that your energy levels set are quite adequate I rotate the nucleus 180 degrees and then the chop portion of the stop and chop shall happen. Here you notice I haven't changed my parameters. They stay as ones for sculpting. The vacuum doesn't go beyond 100 because this is a soft cataract and if the vacuum goes higher there's always a danger of going through the lens and the posterior capsule. I've done the first chop. Rotating at 90 degrees. Do the second chop. Look at the aspiration 6767 and vacuum 94, 80 something. Always below 100. quite a nice chop is happening and the separation is good I aim for about six fragments of the nucleus if the nucleus is harder you can always make more Once I'm happy with the number of fragments that I've made, I shall change my settings to quadrant removal where the vacuum is set to 600 and the aspiration is set to 40. The chopper goes out and the one-handed fake emulsification starts. The upper hemisphere or half of the nucleus is rotated to bring it in a comfortable position and then that is eaten up by the phaco tip. Notice the CD is just about 2.57.
what is left is only some cortical matter. I usually inject some viscoelastic at this stage for more protection of the endothelium and do a bimanual irrigation aspiration. Notice that the anterior chamber is very stable, there is no surge at all, even at quite a high vacuum, 400, 500, we are not worried about any surge. Viscoelastic is injected to form the chamber. and an acry soft IQ lens is folded into a D cartridge. And I use an auto cert, which I think has uh, made insertion of the IUL quite smooth. Once the lens is in, I just make sure that it is in the bag and quite well centered. I hydrate the main incision before I remove the viscoelastic. Then the viscoelastic is removed. This is quite important. We must not leave behind any viscoelastic. Otherwise the IOP will go up and all sorts of other problems. So once we are quite happy with the removal of viscoelastic, you can hydrate the side ports and make sure is no leakage and the IOP is adequate. This is the eye on first post of day, vision of 6-9 unaided. Thank you very much.